Hey guys, I'm Kevin Guillen um, with Western Hunter Magazine, here today to talk about Origin Boots. Um, before I get into that, I just want to let everybody know we're going to be uploading a lot more new content on our Western Hunter YouTube page uh, from gear reviews, primarily, probably all sorts of tips and tricks, um, you name it. We're just going to be pouring gasoline on just the amount of content we're cranking on YouTube. So uh, if you're interested in this kind of stuff from hunting, uh, mostly, uh, even more of like the lifestyle, just American made stuff, which we're going to talk about today, subscribe to the page. Uh, we'd love to have your, your, your eyes and ears on this stuff. So, um, today talking about American made boots. Um, I honestly, I think most of our audience here, kind of like me, I love boots. I wear boots all the time. Um, we've mostly talked about hunting boots on the YouTube channel here, or even just in our magazine. Um, that's, you know, where we come from. But, you know, you can't wear hunting boots 365 days out of the year. A lot of times we're either we're working or we just like to wear a nice looking leather boot uh, in the office. So these caught my eye. I mean, if you're a hunter, you've probably seen a lot of the marketing that Origin's been doing, um, you know, completely made in America brand, not just in material, but um, everything. I mean, some of the stuff that I was blown away when I found about, out about these boots was not just that they were making it here and assembling it here. Most companies out there that put that Made in America stamp on there are assembling it here. And nothing against those companies, but I think it is truly cool to see a company that is going as far as to find the stitching that they can uh, made here in America. I think that's all South Carolina based. The eyelets are coming from South Carolina. The shoelaces are coming from South Carolina. Uh, the leather itself is uh, coming from a tannery in Maine. Um, so it's all really, really high-end stuff and you can totally get that once you pick up a pair and you, you feel them. Um, there's really nothing like quality leather. Um, when, when I got these boots, I was immediately hit with that feeling that I got when I first got like my first really high quality baseball mitt. I mean, they just smell like really high grain leather. Um, this here is their American Bison boot. It has the uh, Christy Natural sole. Um, and then this is the Coronado boot um, with the mini lug. Um, they're very similar. Uh, and when you order your boots from Origin, one of the biggest things that I was really drawn to is that you can kind of choose whichever leather you're after, whichever sole you're after. You know, for me, from what I could tell is, is primarily gonna be based on style, um, how much you're gonna be wearing that boot. Um, that being said, uh, I'm not like a boot aficionado. There are some uh, YouTube pages out there that do some pretty in-depth testing and explaining from boot construction, boot styles to really, they really get into the weeds and the stuff. So I highly suggest if you're into that kind of stuff, like next level boot manufacturing practices, those guys would probably be the best way to go, like, you know, where to go look at that stuff. Um, I'll just kind of give you my impressions from, from more of a guy who just likes to wear boots um, and likes to be able to get them dirty and get them wet and you know work in the yard, work, wear them all day in the, in the office and feel comfortable. Um, out of the gate, the Coronado boot was more comfortable for me. Um, it definitely had that more softer leather feel. It felt like it was gonna get broken in immediately and like literally it, it felt like within the first 10, 15 minutes of wearing it, felt like a boot that I had been wearing for you know, a year or so. Um, it did have more of a pliable feel, and I think that's because this mini lug sole uh, is, it is technically a harder sole, but I think it probably has a less, you know, severe break in time. Uh, being less, you know, a, it was shorter stack height, it didn't seem to like really, I didn't notice it as much, I guess is the best way to say it. Um, super comfortable boot, I think, you know, you can't really go wrong with either of these. There's again, like I said, there's some great color options, kind of like different wear patterns in both. Um, I'm always, I love that like gum sole look. So that Christie natural sole that they put on these American Bison uh, boots, um, just is really more, was my style and I kind of was more drawn to that. That being said, when I put these on, I was, I was like, oh man, this is gonna take like a while before these are gonna be comfortable. Um, I'm used to putting on 
you know, high dollar like hunting boots and whatever. And nowadays, and I wear like a lot of ultra running shoes. And nowadays you put on a pair of shoes and there's really not much of a break in period. And you just kind of feel like they're ready to go. This did not feel that way. However, I was pretty surprised. Like even after a day of wearing them, they felt like, you know, measurably better in terms of comfort. Um, I did get a little heel slip in them. That's not uncommon for me. I've got fairly narrow feet. I've had that trouble with a lot of hunting boots. Um, but like I said, I think some of those little hot spots and, you know, some of those discomforts that were immediately there went away pretty quick. Um, I think something to understand is, you know, if you're used to wearing like Crispies or Schnees or Kenetrex or, you know, whatever, some really high end hunting boot, there's all sorts of nice padding materials in those hot spots, really designed for not just waterproofing, but breathability and keeping your foot supported in certain key areas. Um, a boot of this nature isn't really the same. I mean, it's leather, man. There's just not much to it. It's really this very like rugged, uh, somewhat primitive. I mean, there's a lot of design into this and a lot of uh, engineering when it comes to how they're stitching all these lines together and how they're constructing the midsole uh, to the upper to, to the sole. Um, so I don't mean like it, there's not thought put into it, but the upper, and I think that's what a lot of people are really drawn to is just this really nice, high quality piece of leather. Um, the Coronados, they do have more of a waxy uh, leather. It's a wax finish. Um, so both of these boots are water resistant, not waterproof. So that's, you know, I, I don't think there's many guys that are going to be taking this mucking through a pond and thinking that they're going to be good. But, you know, I say that and as soon as I say that, some guy's going to comment on this video and say that it's not waterproof and you lied to me. But that's not the case. These are water resistant, not waterproof. Um, so, you know, I've only worn these for about two and a half weeks now. And one of the things that I'm really looking forward to, what I've already noticed, is this distressed look that's kind of starting to appear on the leather itself. And that's going to change over time. The more I wear it, the more I scuff it up, the more... I just use them. They're going to kind of take on their, their own distressed look. And I think there's a lot of character in that. And especially when you're talking about, you know, real leather, um, especially American bison leather, it's a really, really cool. I mean, every cut of this is unique. Um, you know, you're not going to see any two boots that are going to be identical because this is real American bison. This isn't, you know, mass produced. I highly suggest that if you guys are interested in these boots, Go take a look at you know some of the content that they've put together on the Origin website. Um, not just in terms of the boots. I mean, there's some pretty fascinating boot construction stuff. I really kind of got into a wormhole of understanding Pacific Northwest style of manufacturing boots. Uh, all the different nail techniques versus glue and stitch. It's kind of next level, and I didn't realize like that there's a whole like category of, of, of boot guys uh, really interested in this stuff. And I think it's super cool. Um, but on, on the other side, I think one of the things that's really important here is just to understand what Origin is doing from a manufacturing standpoint. Um, you know, not just using American made components uh, or even not even just making these all by hand by American hands. Um, what they're really dedicated to and committing to is also finding those industries all you know those raw material sources in america that are struggling you know perhaps going extinct and reviving them restoring those places like for instance one part of this boot which is the only component of this boot that is not made in america is the midsole this is a complete uh leather midsole um something like 99 percent of midsoles in all boots um at least of this style that are leather are produced in South America. Um, they're not settling with that. That's what they're using because that's what's available, but they're actively trying to revive and restore um, that part of our American supply chain so they can make a truly 100% you know, manufactured uh, American made boot. Um, but you know, that's, I think that's just kind of where the transparency is really valuable. I really appreciate that. I think there's a lot of smoke and mirrors out there when certain companies hang their hat on American made. Um, there's more to the story. And when companies are really taking the time um, and being honest about how it's done, I think that's, that's really important. Um, so yeah, I, you know, long story short, these are great camp boots. I mean, you can hunt in these boots, even doing like some upland hunting. I think 
I, I'm probably preaching the choir. There's probably a ton of guys out here who are just like, yeah, sign me up. I wear boots all the time, whether it's Red Wings, Danners, or what have you. Um, if you're looking for a new pair of boots this year, I highly suggest giving Origin a look and thinking about spending your money with um, an American company. Um, it's you know probably no mystery. Guys like Jocko Willenick, um, Joe Rogan, you know they're they're big players and they're big guys in this brand. Uh, especially Jocko, he's co-owner of this brand, um, and so there's there's a lot of character behind it, a lot of merit, and I you know I think in terms of value. There's a lot of places now, a lot of boots I found while I was kind of researching this, where you're finding boots that are 100 to $200 more. Uh, like this is a $360 boot right here. This is about 290. You can find boots that are 100 to $200 more. They're not made in America. You don't really understand where these eyelets are being made. You're not gonna see the, the, the people that are constructing these boots. Um, and you'll probably get them a lot quicker, um, but there is some time in these things because everyone is made to order. They're not mass producing these things. They're not making them by bulk. It's first in, first out in terms of order and production. Um, so you got to be patient. But I think that's you know part of our society that I think we're kind of getting away from is disconnecting you know quality with convenience and uh, and price. So um, anyhow, Origin boots. I think they're they're really awesome so far. I mean, I'm really looking forward to wearing them for years to come and I, I really don't have any doubt that they're just gonna look better and feel more comfortable as it, uh, as it goes. So I hope you guys think these boots uh, are as cool as I do. Uh, if you don't, I guess I don't really care. But uh, if you do, um, subscribe to our channel. Like I said, we're gonna be really taking on a lot more YouTube content, reviews, uh, tips and tactics and, and loading them and sharing them with you guys. Um, this is a great example, these boots here of I mean, it's just, we thought they're cool. I think they're cool. It's, they don't advertise with us. They don't sponsor our, us in any way. Um, we just figured, you know, if we think they're cool, there's probably a handful of guys out there that do as well. So, you know, yeah, there's gonna be some reviews and stuff from people you see in the magazine or on the TV show um, because they do make some pretty cool stuff. But there's probably gonna be some stuff that come out of left field. Um, if you guys have any questions, comments, critiques, or ideas of things you'd like us to uh, review, um, let us know in the comments. Uh, please subscribe. It's the best way to stay in tune with what we're doing. Um, and we'll talk to you next time.